Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're painting these really fun and playful dragonflies. Uh, I go over this step by step. I attach the silhouette so you can just download it and paint, uh, draw in the butterflies. But I really just go over how to paint this little fun little tutorial. Um, also, check out my Patreon if you haven't checked it out lately. I have exclusive tutorials there on Thursdays, as well as traceables and ad-free videos. This week's Patreon is a bird's nest. Yep, this is really fun and pretty. So go check it out here and you can learn how to paint this. But today we're gonna to be doing the dragonflies. So if there are any questions, leave them in the comment section and please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up because sometimes they're not always on the time. <laughs> I'm very, I'm not on time that way, sorry guys. So please hit the bell notification button. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arch 100% cotton cold pressed paper. This is a six by nine. You're gonna kind of need this paper if you wanna do this technique. Um, otherwise, you can use cheap paper and just have fun with it. Uh, I have my paints, I'll go over them as I use them and I always have everything in the description box. You just hit those words that say show more. The whole box drops down with all the supplies, everything I use in the tutorial, places, links to get the supplies, all that stuff. Um, you know, in reference material if I, if I have one. And this one particular exercise for the dragonfly, I do have one from Shuttershock. You're basically just gonna be tracing the outline of the dragonfly and we're gonna just do whatever we want in the middle, having fun with it. Um, water jars, paper towels, and brushes. I got a new brush of the day I've been using a lot. This Princeton Neptune number 10, because it's new, it will have a nice new point when you use it as they get older. They kind of get a little dull. I'll have to show you how to fix that. I also have my eight long run. Maybe I'll use the four. I don't know. It'd be like these three brushes today. And then we could play around with using pen and ink uh, or not. You know, you can draw all the little details in the, the wings if you wanted. You could paint them in. There's so many different ways to do it. And the colors of the dragonfly could be whatever you feel like. But I'm going to play around with some kind of fun technique. I'm actually going to start with my uh, Princeton Long Run. I have, um, I got some new paints too this week. I got all kinds of new paints, but uh, I got an Ultimate Marine. I got a Yellow Ochre and a Burnt Sienna. And I forgot I even had this yellow that I have not used, which is a kind of bright, super intense yellow. Let's see if I can say this word 10 times fast. Imidazoline. Imidazoline? I think that's the word. <laughs> Who names these things? I mean, seriously? Okay, an ultramarine, which is basic, which is great. It's a, great for skies and making purple because it's got a purple tinge to it. I mean, well, it has pink, reddish in it, so it's really kind of already purple. What I can tell you about that is that, that's my little scrap here. When you say purple, it's like, see, watch, this is the blue. It's such a bright blue, right? When you add just a touch of magenta to that blue, oh, what a purple you're gonna get. Look how pretty that is. Ugh. Love it. So I think I'm gonna work with that. I'm just adding a little magenta, just a teeny tap. See that? And it makes the most prettiest blues. It's good to have a couple of blues in your repertoire, as they say. Look how pretty that, I just, you know, can't help that. Uh, dragonflies, people paint them with greens, purples, pinks. We're gonna do combination. Um, yeah, I think people tend to you can do it realistic if you want, but I love that purple I just did. So let's just play around with that. Um, it's the ultramarine. So it was basically, I would say 90% ultramarine and at like 10% of the quinacridone magenta. I think I'm gonna use that color more or less on the, I could use it on the body. I might do that, but yeah, I think I'll do that on the body. I'm just gonna fill it in. I'll probably get darker again. I'm just gonna fill in all those little knobs. You don't even have to download the drawing. I mean, you can just make this dragonfly body. It's like a stick, but little, see I'm painting little knobs, as I call them. And you get up here and there's like the funky eyes. We'll start off just a pretty little color like that. I did wanna do some like turquoisey green colors. We can overlap them. When you overlap the little wings together, 
the translucentness. It's going to change the color of the other one. It's going to be kind of fun. So I have the peacock blue. Let's try that crazy word yellow. <laughs> you can use any yellow you have, but I'm going to play around with my yellow. Oh, wow. Look, a nice, pretty aqua. Aqua green. Love it. Guys, play around with paints. If you can't afford the paints, stick with the basics. You know, you really just need three colors and three good colors. So you would get a nice, like a cobalt, have me in yellow. And for, I would do a crimson if you can't get the magenta. Those three can make amazing colors for all throughout whatever you need. Then you want to get a little punchier, you need to have brighter colors. So the magenta, the peacock with the yellow will make more intense colors. So here's this pretty turquoise. So what I'm going to do is just play around with the wing. See the brush? Actually, I might not end up using the, the number 10. I'll do the four and the eight. So we're going to have to play around with the wings. I'm going to make a line and kind of just go down. Line and go down like that. I'm playing around with my wings. You can tilt the paper, move it around. That makes it easier for you. It's kind of like stripes, but they're kind of going on the curvature of nature here. Sorry, I'm shaking my camera. And do the same thing here. See, we're having fun. See, it looks like little stripes. You can get them a little wider if you want. Clean up our brush. Now we're going to take that peacock blue. Going to water that down itself. I'm going to go in between that, making another stripe. You can get a little bigger on the bottom. See how I did that? Take the same. It's still very watery, so you can take that same paint and push it over here. And just fill in that whole edge of the wing. Do you get what I'm doing with this here, guys? So I'm just kind of filling in, grabbing some more of this paint. Just kind of like stripes, really pretty, isn't this? I swear to God, this is the most therapeutic thing ever. Spring forward today, feeling it. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling a little hopeful? I sure is, I hope so. I know this year has been really tough, very tough. For a lot of people. I think color color and just painting. Look how much fun that is, guys. You need to zoom in a little more so you can see better. But you see how I'm just taking this paint? Just a teeny bit of it on my brush, too, by the way. Teeny weeny bit. Going back over the color. Making these fun stripes, right? Now I'm going to grab the ultramarine. That purple. Maybe add a little more blue. Put that one down in here too. Oh, I think this is coming out so much fun. So much fun? Is it even a word? I don't even know. Why is it when I guess I have to do my tutorials, my brain is completely fogged? <laughs> See, I'm just filling in all those little crevices that we didn't fill in. You can get a little darker and grab some more ultramarine. See, it's, you see me grabbing the ultramarine. It's a little more. I'm just trying to grab a little more of that paint, see? And then we'll get a little bit darker. Just kind of fill in those areas that I didn't fill in. I'm already loving this. You know, sometimes I do tutorials that I really plan them out. And sometimes I do them like now. You are actually getting the live version of whatever craziness I come up with. And this is who I am. <laughs> I could do an edited version, perfectly edited, perfectly tuned, perfectly spoken, but no, you're going to get the real me and I'm babbling and that's me too. So I just fill this in. So I'm actually grabbing some of that really dark ultramarine going right in some of those stripes. This is so much fun. Look how pretty that came out, guys, huh? 
You see, he's just taking the stripe, following the wing. Taking this blue color, this ultramarine, just watering it down. You can play around with this part, right? It has those little nubs. Get some actual stripes coming in here. If you want to get a little bit darker, see, I'm just putting like the little dark dots from the actual paint tube. And then here on the bottom, you can go a little color on the side like this too. You want to get real technical. And then I might make a green for the eyes, green or blue, whatever. I'll take that crazy yellow. How about ultramarine? Let's get see what we got here. Mm, don't like that green, do I? You take that crazy yellow or cadmium yellow, whatever you have. See, it's a cadmium yellow. Grab the peacock. There we go. Pretty green. Green eyes. These eyes. <laughs> Pay no attention to the crazy girl trying to sing who sings terribly. Maybe a little bright yellow. I want light, lighter green. Crazy eyes, right? We're gonna let that dry. So, we did these pretty little stripes. We're gonna go and get more detail on this. And then what I'm gonna tell you to do is the same thing on this one. But you gotta wait till this one completely dries so that the overlap of the wing here gets a little fun, okay? So, with this one, I'm gonna grab that ultramarine, gonna mix a little of that magenta again with it, get that purple color. Gonna go in here Put more details, so lines, maybe some dots. See, little dots. We're gonna have fun with this. Some more dots going down. Look at that. Starting to look good. Okay, darker line here. Darker line out here and out here. I feel like it kind of got lost on the outside edges. You want to kind of highlight them a little bit. Getting a little closer inside here. And then we can go in here, the white spaces and fill those in with the darker blue. I think this is so pretty. And guys, I had no clue how this was gonna come out. I am playing with watercolor just like you are right now. And I'll take that aqua again. So basically, what did I do? I had that crazy yellow. Oh, look at that green. So look at it. Take a bright green like this. See that crazy green? Go right in there. What do you see? It just changes that color, right? Oh my goodness. And you don't have to fill in the whole thing, just parts of it. I know, I get excited, right? So we can go in and grab the peacock blue and that yellow, more peacock blue. There we go. Still looking a little too green. Okay, we got the nice turquoise, it's a little bit darker. And again, you can make little dots. Another stripe. And get funky with it. Okay. I don't want to go too crazy. And then I'm going to put that same color up here. Wow, the crazy eyes. Um, for the the hands, it feels like he's going oh, right in this in the uh, um. See how the, the Little hands, whatever. Their feet. You can take dark blue, ultramarine. Just straight from the Mexican tube. And make those little crazy hands. Like they're praying out loud. Right? Wah, wah, wah. And then there was another one that comes down and bends up. And also like that. I'm adding a little dark blue there. 
that is it. I mean, simple and pretty. Now we're gonna move on to this guy. So, peel, make sure it's completely dry. You might wanna start with the middle. You could do the same type of colors. We'll change it up just a bit. You can get a little purple or pink or, but I wouldn't do that. If you want it to overlap and have a nice color that's gonna change, it's gonna be pretty in here, kind of keep it in the same tones, blues and purples. Otherwise it's gonna look kind of funky. Okay, so let's make the body turquoise. Let's play around a little different. The dark turquoise. So I'm using that peacock. Do you need a bit of yellow? Let's change this body up on this one. A little more blue. You want it to be a little bit different. Again, making the same little lines that go down. You can make the eyes blue this time instead of green. Wait till that dries. So now we can go into the wings. Take that purple color that I had, ultramarine, mix with the magenta. Get that pretty pale purple. And we're gonna do the same thing. Stripes. I kind of like it skinny here and then go fat in the bottom. So. Skinny, and then a little fat. There's too much water, you can see that? So I have to go in my paper towel, making sure you guys can see this. Okay. Fat and then skinny. Again, skinny, fat. Just like that. Go around all the wings. Oh, that one hit that, so it's gonna make a little cauliflower in there, but I fixed that. So now I can make the turquoise. See the turquoise maybe made here? I'll water it down a little bit. And now I'm gonna go, my wing, if you have a trouble seeing where it is, just go back with your pencil and just kind of outline it so I can get a feel for where it is. And now we're gonna overlap. God, it's so watery, sorry. Yeah, it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to with overlap, but that's okay. You know what? Who cares? I think they came out cute anyway. <laughs> anyway, maybe if I had it more of an overlap, you would see it better. So if you're doing yours, play around with having more of an overlap on the wings. My intention was to have a nice um, overlap so that you have a nice, pretty, translucent kind of quality to it. But hey, it is what it is. So ultramarine, water this down. Go back in. Now the ultimate ring might work. Yeah, see it kind of overlapped to work that way. So you just want to go in here and you want to do the same thing we did before. Playing around with stripes. You know, it doesn't have to all be stripes. You can go in and add like kind of at the end, really fill that whole part of that wing in make a little different or even wider areas like this with less stripes. Play around, make it more versatile. So I'm gonna go in and fill in this one, make this a little different. I want this one to feel just a little bit different. Still kind of funky like that one, but just a slight different wing. See, you already feeling the difference? Now if I overlap that, there we go. Now we got it. See? This is what we call playing. 
Saturday should be about fun. You had enough during the week. You had enough of the stinking news and all that crap. So I'll go back in with the green, that crazy green. I love this yellow. I don't know why I haven't used this. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Got a little ultramarine. Play around with some green. Ooh, that isn't that pretty. We'll take a good with that. So the yellow did not work well with the ultramarine. Did you see that? It did not like it. It said new. No. So I'm gonna put those little bright green eyes in. And then go here on the wing. Now, you really can see the overlapping quality translucent when you take a, so there's a space of white here and then they get two colors. If you go over both spaces with this green color, it creates a whole different look. See, same here. And here. If you just go over all three of these, see? Changes that look completely. Just like that. I might go back in and add some more peacock to get more of a turquoise color. And then again, I could put the little skinny line in there. I want you guys just to play around. Do the same thing. You can just go back in and I'm gonna make that purple. And do the same thing with the dots and the stripes. So you can add little pretty dots. And that's bleeding a little bit because it's wet and it's kind of like that. I like how that kind of bled right there. And do a little over here too. I like it. And a little stripe. Just have fun, guys. If you want to outline it on this one, or even both, go back in here, add a little line. Just like the quality of playing around with those stripes. And then again, go and add the little arms. This is a little wet. It might bleed a little bit. And then finish the top here. Oop, that one bled. It's okay. We'll just clean that up. That's pretty much it. You can go back in and um, Again, add some darker turquoise, little details, little stripes. I want you guys to play around. Aren't those pretty? I think they have, they don't have a 10 eye, huh? I'm looking at the uh, download of these little eye things here. I guess the butterflies have the antennae, they don't. You want to do some splattering, whatnot. Play around. This got a little muddy. I'll clean that up. And I'll go in and put that stripe in there. I think it was a lot of fun. So if you have any questions, please leave in the comment section. Um, I have, like I said, the attachable for the, just the outline of the dragonfly. But really guys, play around with doing stripes. You could do polka dots, you know. Keep the colors in the blues or the pinks if you want to overlap them. Um, I think this is a little fun exercise for Saturday to keep you painting yet, you know, experimenting and having some fun because it should be about fun. It should not be like intense, you know. Um, again, if you have any questions in the comment section, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Um, I have exclusive tutorials there on Thursdays as well as traceables in there. So, you know, you can check that out. And uh, it's just a place people can go and support my channel, which I really appreciate. So take care, guys. Have a fantastic Saturday, and I'll speak to you soon.